Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So this is my grocery haul this week. Everything you see here was $111 with tax, so a little bit over the budget, but there's a reason why. So let's get into the meal plan. All right, y'all, so this is my meal plan for October the 8th through the 14th. My budget is always $100. However, I went over the budget um, this week by like $15 because I had another recipe I was making for the cookbook. So if you're interested in the cookbook, guys, I mentioned it last week. I will have an email down below where you can send your personal information to be included on the list for the early pre-orders. And with the pre-order, you automatically get the mini ebook for free. So that is really awesome. So definitely check out that email down below if you're interested in the cookbook. So as far as the meal plan, guys, most of these stickers you're going to see I bought off Etsy or they came from those really awesome um sticker books that we got from the Dollar Tree. They are like so high quality. So for Monday, it says today was awesome and treat yourself. Most of y'all know that I went to Biloxi for just Sunday and we actually came home today, which is Monday when I'm filming this and we had an amazing time. We went and saw Venom at the movie theater, which was really good, by the way, if you haven't seen it and eight and eight and ate and just relaxed, you know, and had just a day of adult time and then came back to reality with the kiddos. But it's just nice to get a little break with your hubby every once in a while. Just a little mental break is so nice. So that was awesome. So today we already had dinner before we came home. So no dinner. And then for Tuesday, that's going to be one of the true blood recipes. Did I kiss your grits? Um, if y'all watched my foodie Fridays last week, I'm making a recipe every single Friday from the cookbooks from the True Blood series, the show from HBO that I got from Dollar Tree. And if you're interested in those cookbooks, I'll have those linked in the description box of this video as well. I know a lot of y'all wanted to go ahead and purchase it and start cooking with me. So I'm going to be making grits, guys. And those are homemade grits, by the way, not instant or um, the whatever the other kind are. So it was very specific that we're making homemade grits here. And I've never done that before. So I'm nervous with eggs, bacon and biscuits. So a breakfast night. Then for Wednesday, we're going to have leftovers of that, hopefully. Then Thursday, we're going to have red beans and rice that is in the crock pot. I will have that linked in the iCards above. That was the first Foodie Fridays video I ever made here on my channel, and that's one of our all-time favorite recipes that I make. Then the weekend, I'm so excited because on Friday, I actually have no students because it is the end of our first nine weeks, our first quarter. So we don't have students on Friday, but I still have to go to work and put grades in, which is fine. But that Friday after we get off, me and a bunch of my coworkers are going to go eat lunch and relax and kind of celebrate the end of our first nine weeks and just kind of get like the morale going um, with us as far as teachers go and just keep on going, you know, fighting the good fight there at work. So we're going to be going out to eat and I'm super excited about that. So um, the hubby and the kids might go out. So that's why I put that there, but I'm going to be having dinner with coworkers. And then on Saturday, the weekend guys and I'm loving these stickers I got off Etsy I'll try to link them down below if I remember but we're gonna be having leftovers of red beans and rice stress bless and pumpkin spice pumpkin spice obsessed I can't talk guys I've just been relaxed and having too much fun over the um, day with the hubby but those are also stickers I got from Etsy and then Sunday this was a pushed back recipe from like weeks ago that I've been pushing and pushing and pushing but I still have the um, ingredients and they're still fine for the Taco Bell quesadillas so I'm going to be making that Sunday getting organized because that's my couponing day back to in-store couponing and getting back to reality and I just love this weekend sticker Ugh, I'm just loving the fall stuff even though it's still super hot but finally I think the week after this week um, we were looking at the forecast ahead and finally we should be getting in like the upper 50s for lows and upper 70s for highs so finally gonna get some cooler weather weather almost like the beginning of November it's crazy so for foodie, like I said, I'm going to be making the True Blood grits. Those are going to be homemade from scratch grits. So if you're interested in that, you've never made grits before, you definitely want to check me out on Friday because I'm going to be walking you through it and I'm going to be doing it with you the first time myself. So I'm nervous about that. So stay tuned for Friday for homemade grits. You know what that reminds me of? First off, it reminds me of my girl Kiara from Fifty Shades of Mom because she, myself, and my hubby, we love the movie My Cousin Vinny. 
And if you've ever watched My Cousin Vinny, you know exactly what I'm talking about as far as the scene with the grits and how the grits come back later in the trial and all. So um, it just reminds me of that movie. And every time that movie pops up, it reminds me of Kiara now because I know she loves it and she can quote it just like my hubby does. He loves that movie. And I have to watch it all the time because of him, but I do actually like it myself. And I know Kiara does too. So <laughs> that reminds me of her and the hubby. So guys, I'm going to have Halloween Kid Lunches Volume 2 posting on October the 15th. I just posted that today as I'm filming this, and a lot of y'all said that y'all liked it. Um, I know y'all like the adult lunches more than the kid lunches, so I'm thinking about making myself, not this week, but next week, I'm thinking about making adult lunches for myself with a little Halloween twist to each lunch. So if you're interested in that, now let me know in the comments down below and I'm going to incorporate that. It'll be the week before Halloween, so you'll still have time to be able to do that for yourself. And that week of Halloween, it's like half a week because Halloween's on a Wednesday. So let me know if y'all want to see that. I know a lot of y'all like the adult lunch ideas versus the kid one. So that's just something to throw out there. But I am going to be posting that second edition on Monday. So that is the meal plan this week. I know it was chatty. Let's get into the actual grocery haul. All right, haul. so I needed some whole milk for a recipe specifically. Y'all know I usually don't buy whole milk. And then I got a half gallon of just regular 2% to have with cereal and such. We had almond milk left over from last week, so I didn't pick any more up for Waylon. Now, with this is the Walmart online grocery order I did. And my advice when doing it for the first time is, or any time, is always checking to see if they put the stuff actually in your car. Because three occasions, I've come all the way home and I live about 30 minutes away from Walmart and half my stuff was gone. So that is really a headache. So this was one thing when I went to go check my groceries before I left the parking lot, they did not put my lemonade in there. That was the only thing I'm pretty sure. So they came back out and gave it to me with no problem. So y'all know we always get that. And it's two weeks in a row. If I wouldn't have checked, we wouldn't have had our lemonade. So we were having like withdrawals with our lemonade. So I'm glad that I checked. I got some cage-free eggs. I got some organic bananas, guys. And definitely check out Walmart's organic bananas. These were only 75 cents for organic bananas. That's crazy to me. So definitely check out. Organic can sometimes be cheaper, if not the same price as regular. Then I got some butter for recipes. I've been flying through butter with the cookbook that we're making, all these different decadent recipes I got going on in those cookbooks, guys. So definitely check out that email down below. If you want to be included in the pre-order, definitely send your information to that email down below. And if you do pre-order a regular cookbook, you automatically get the mini e-cookbook for free. So I had a little mix up last week with that. I said you had to pay for the mini e-cookbook. No, it is free. And that is a perk for being a pre-order subscribers. So definitely check out that email and send us your information if you have not already. The organic bay leaves. I was so surprised by this. I needed this for my red beans and rice and I usually buy the dried kind, but the organic like fresh bay leaves were only 98 cents. Shut up. Like that was crazy to me. So like I said, definitely check out some of Walmart's organic stuff. I got a block of extra sharp cheddar cheese too great for a recipe. Got some cream cheese for a recipe. I got some andouille sausage for my red beans and rice, and that's the Manda brand. I got 100% juice, and that's the Cran grape for the boys. I've run out of the grape juice that I hauled from DT way back when I stocked up. We're finally out, so I got that, and we do dilute that for their juice and their drinks. Our homemaker premium orange juice, that's our jam. We always get that. I got two Lunchables for Trey. He hasn't been flying through these, but I have been including these every other day instead of him having just a regular peanut butter and jelly. I got this Oscar Mayer Natural Honey Smoked Turkey Breast. This is our favorite. It's really good for you. If you look up and research, this is the best thing to buy in the pre-made deli section. Then I got some sliced pepper jack cheese for sandwiches. Back here for chips, guys, I got the Simply Cheeto Puffs White Cheddar, and that's for Trey to go to school to have at school. He also likes the bite-sized Great Value Tortillas. They didn't have the big bag, so I got the small bag. And that's to go along with his Gordo's cheese dip. This was a substitution. They did not have the blue kind we usually get, which is the regular. But he doesn't mind the mild, so that wasn't a big deal. And then I'm so excited to share this with y'all guys. I've been buying the um, Tostinos or whatever it is, the name brand of the blue corn tortillas. And they're like $3 a bag if I can't get them from Brandless. But they have the Great Value Organic Blue corn tortilla chips for $1.98 a bag. Like, shut up. Yes, I was so excited to see that. I did not know that they had that. And it's also organic, gluten-free. So y'all definitely check that out. I'll let y'all know next week how I like them compared to the Tostinos and the Brandless brand. <laughs> but 
I was impressed. I'm impressed by the amount of organic stuff that Walmart's got going on. So $1.98, and that's the same amount of chips you will get in the ones from Brandless. Just heads up on that. So some frozen items. I'm going to be having biscuits on the long, along the side of our grits recipe that I'm sharing with Foodie this week. I needed some frozen chopped green peppers and onions for my red beans and rice. I like to use fresh sometimes, but sometimes with a slow cooker recipe, it's just so easy to put all frozen stuff in there and be on your way, and it tastes almost identical. So I recommend those are really good. Speaking of red beans, the Camellia brand is the only brand that I buy, the New Orleans brand, and you really can tell a difference between this and some other brands. So I got that. The Fruit Punch, and this is the drink mix. This is for me and Lonnie. I do not let the kids have this because it does have aspartame in it, and I know it does, and y'all are fussing at me all the time, but me and Lonnie like that versus Kool-Aid um, with regular sugar. Like if I, The amount that, that we drink of drink like this if I drank the real sugar kind, I would be back to my 225 pounds that I was before I lost weight. So, you know, we all have our vices and everything's bad for you, in my opinion. I mean, there's nothing that's like super good. So as far as grits go, these are the old fashioned and these are the ones that they recommended in the True Blood recipe to make. No instant, um, no quick grits. You had to get this kind. So that's the ones that I got. Then Little Bites, they were out of the Little Debbie for Waylon, so I got the Intamin's Little Bites, and these are the muffins. He will fly through these in a day. I got to get my booty to Sam's and go and get the big thing of the Intamin's that they sell there. No high fructose corn syrup, blah, 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 so I don't feel too bad that he likes these so much. Then this is not for the boys. This is creamy peanut butter, and y'all know for recipes with peanut butter, you have to use the creamy because it's got the sugar and stuff in it versus organic and stuff. It'll separate, and it won't be good, so I had to pick up a small thing of just regular plain creamy peanut butter for recipes because the stuff that I already have on hand will not work for that. Now uh, Trey has been loving goldfish and I did buy the Halloween packs but this is just to bring for his class so they have like a class set of it instead of you know bringing all the little fun packs I have going in his lunch. Then I got some more of our organic fruit bars that we get every week from Walmart. They're the strawberry. Down there I've got my French vanilla K cups and that's the 12 count. Those are my absolute jam. That's my the, my coffee that I just absolutely love. Then I got some fruit snacks. I have a ton of Halloween ones, but this is also going to Trace Therapy just to have at school because they were low on those for him. And then also for Trace Therapy, I got the organic cinnamon squares, which it's like a knockoff to Cinnamon Toast Crunch. He likes those, and he's been eating that at school too. So a lot of stuff, guys, I have to supply for school. I've mentioned that before. Then I got a big value size of the mini marshmallows by Great Value. And also I put this on my Insta story, guys, but these Jet Puff pumpkin spice mallows marshmallows they are 32 cents with the online grocery order yes 32 cents and I thought that was like a mistake and they were gonna be out of stock and I wouldn't get them but lo and behold you see them here so definitely check your Walmart online grocery order if you do this already and see if they have these for 32 cents and stock up because that is a great price my friend Kiera from 50 shades of mom just hauled these from Dollar Tree for a dollar which is a great deal but 32 cents is even better All right team rice krispies now this was a mistake um, I did put the great value crisp rice box the value size which is two dollars and 38 cents or something in my cart they did not tell me this was a substitution but this was what was in my car so guys i made out like a bandit on this deal this is the family size i, I just like am drawn to rice krispies or something right like the rice crispy gods like me i don't know what's going on don't hate okay <laughs> so uh, they it wasn't a substitution but this is what was in my car so I know this is way more than $2.98 and this is the family size box because I'm making a recipe with this yes I am and I got some milk chocolate chips I hauled these last week but I needed more and then I needed some Reese's PCs to go along with that recipe this is gonna be bomb so Stay tuned, guys, and make sure you put that pre-order in is all I got to say about that. And then I got 12 snack size Reese cups. That's also going with that. <laughs> um, and then I got our loaf of Sara Lee butter bread. This is the one with high, no high fructose corn syrup. So we get that, and the boys love it. We love it. This is for Mama. This is the flat out Italian herb flatbread, and this is for me to make wraps this week for lunch. I haven't done that in a while. I need to get back to doing that. Now, this was a total impulse buy from me. I usually like the Frito-Lay brand. When I was a kid, that jalapeno Frito-Lay cheddar cheese dip with like some Zapp's potato chips that's local to me or just any kind of kettle chip was like my vice. That was like something that was an indulgence to me. 
I they did not have the Frito-Lay brand, so I saw that they had the Great Value comparable to it. So I thought we'd just have this on hand for me and the hubby for like weekends for sandwiches and chips and lunch just to have to throw back. Y'all know I like to throw back every once in a while with horrible food. Like my parents must have been like horrible, right? <laughs> you wouldn't want to see in their grocery hauls because of the kind of crap that I put in my grocery hauls and I say, hey, this is throwback. That's because that's what I grew up eating all that crap. So I'm trying to do better with my kids. I got the Great Value Everyday Paper Plates, and this is 45 plates. Y'all know I usually get them cheap with couponing with Dixie Paper Plates, but they haven't had a deal in forever, and we fly through paper plates. Again, um, I do use dishes and wash them, guys, but I am a working mom with three boys. Yes, my, my husband I include as a kiddo as well, and we need paper plates in our life. i just saying. So many of y'all can relate, so keeping it real in here. Then I got two of the Roaring Waters um, Capri Sun pouches, and my kids fly through these for lunches and on the weekends. And this is just the kind that's like water with a little bit of flavoring. They're way better for you, and I got two of those. And then for me down here, I got the Coke Cherry Zero. That is for me to bring to work. I have one a day during the afternoon to get me through got to have something to keep me through as a keep me going as a teacher and I don't think a cherry coke zero a day is a bad vice to have all right y'all so that was my grocery haul this week please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these weekly grocery hauls and meal plans every week and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not with me already we'd love to have you a part of the YouTube family here if y'all want to try Walmart online pickup do use that for a referral link down below it will get you ten dollars off your first order with online grocery pickup and that's pretty awesome you get ten dollars free and groceries and guys y'all have an amazing tuesday and an awesome week ahead make sure to stay tuned for the true blood series i got going on this month for those grits i'm nervous about it but i'm i'm hopeful that they're going to come out great love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye